<clears throat> All right, uh, so when you come down this elevator, uh, just like with the green Brinstar elevator where you hold jump and push right to jump off, you want to be holding jump and push left. Okay. There's a couple different ways down this room, um, but what you want to do 100% so you want to jump off and fire an angle down spacer shot as you're landing. Um, that will kill this Nova and allow you to collect its drop, which is oftentimes invaluable. It's pretty common that you're going to get a big health or a super from it. Um, sometimes you will get a missile or a small health. Those are less helpful, but still helpful. So. All right. Um, from there, you want to do a down back. Down back. Um, and then basically you want to release the right input so that Samus starts falling straight down after you're, you've cleared this corner and before you'll bonk this corner. It's kind of tight, um, but it's really not too bad once you get a feel for it. And then once you have passed this corner, you want to continue down backing until you clear this corner. From there, you can turn around. No more down backs after that. So it's not like a double down back where you turn around and do a down back in the opposite direction. Um, <clears throat> Then, come on. Yeah, um, so you'll just turn around and then move back to the left. You want to have supers selected. Do an angle down. and shoot basically just as you're passing this ledge right here. Where are we? So open this door with an angle down shot as you are passing this platform. Also, what's up, Behe? Feel free to correct me on anything that um, I may point out that is slow and dumb. and then run through. Open the door, run through. Uh, you want to do kind of a late jump over this energy tank. That way you can get a shorter jump. You do a turn, a downturn, when you get to the edge of this. And as long as you, I mean, it looks like a tight window, but you can you can time this shot pretty pretty freely with spacer at least, and uh, it will it will kill this Nova. If you happen to not get the quick drop, that's okay. Just drop down and roll through. Hey Ultros, thanks, man. And then um, what you need to do is jump back up and shoot the door. If you don't jump high enough. Um, your shot will not reach the door, or I've, I've also seen it get blocked, but I haven't been able to reproduce that myself, generally, when I'm trying to, so it's kind of a weird thing, but you want to make sure that you're jumping at least just a little bit before shooting so you can open the door. Now, we're opening the door before we come over this way, because notice how it's gray right now. And it doesn't open until after we kill this Nova. And if we don't open it here and then we go get high jump and we come back, it's going to be gray again. So that's why we're taking this time to open it now. Roll through the tunnel. Hold left. Um, unmorph and do an angle shot from here to open the door. 
And then this is actually a good opportunity for me to check something. Um, generally what I do here, come on. Now I can't even do this. I do a ledge grab. Then you run through this door, jump. You want to shoot kind of high here so it will break. There's two blocks right here. You want to break both of them. Jump over and collect high jump. Ledge grabbing is good here. Um, jump over the blocks. You need to shoot, like I said, kind of high. It'll break both blocks. And um, aiming down here is a good idea. You want to shoot, high jump on your way down. And then turn and do a jump over, angle down shot, open the door. And jump out of the door preemptively. You don't want to jump too early. Or you can bonk your head. And then you won't be able to jump up here. Wow, that, would, that can't... That worked, okay. You can bonk here. We bonked. So then you're going to end up landing. You have to jump up like that. So preferably... You want to do it like this. Okay. Okay, um, so jump, ledge grab here, jump up again. You don't actually want to ledge grab on this one, you just want to morph. Ta-da, roll through. Unmorph, grab the missile, jump and morph into the hole. Roll through. Uh, when you land, you want to make sure that you don't fall through that block. So, don't just run, you need to do a jump. You're going to need to jump over this anyway, so... Just be careful. And then, uh... Do a jump through the door. Alright, Behe, I need you to avert your eyes. Came up with a new strat in this room, and I can't have you strat stealing, so I'm gonna need you to vacate the vicinity. <laughs> um, okay, so... <laughs> uh, there's a few ways you can do this room. Um, the easiest way is to skip the farms, like this. So you do a wall jump here, ledge grab, wall jump here, ledge grab, shoot the door. If you aim down, that'll fix the door. That's something that I was just clued into recently. Um, fixing the door versus optimally not fixing the door is, honestly, it's about the same. Um, but if you do get, like, a super optimal fix on the door, it is a little bit faster. So, there's that. Um, I, I have mained this particular strat since... Also since forever, until like a week or a couple weeks ago. Um, so I would say it's definitely solid. But like we were talking about earlier, um, <clears throat> like we were talking about in the tutorial last time, and as I was alluding to earlier today, um, we want to collect farms so that we can get health in our reserves. Also, we want to collect farms so we can get more super missiles. Um, so, that obviously means that farming these guys is good, right? Um, because they have a you know pretty high chance to drop either a big health or a super. Sometimes they'll drop small health or they'll drop missiles. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know, they're they're gonna drop some pretty good stuff for you. Um, so, what I initially had switched to uh, 
after deciding that these farms were worth it, even if they cost like 20, 30 frames, was uh, what Behemoth does. And I'm, I'm going to totally butcher this, but just bear with me. So he jumps through the door, and he does a farm on this guy, and then he shoots up, and he does a farm on that guy. I think it's just two. Correct me if I'm wrong, Behe. I think it's just the two farms that you do. He might go, uh, you do three? Alright, so are you doing, excuse me, this? That sort of a thing? Alright, so that's a great strat, to be completely honest. Um, I want to say my best time doing that was like a 3.30, and B probably gets a much better time than that. Uh, but my best time skipping the farms completely is like a low 3.0x, and um... Yeah, so 334. Okay. So, um, back when I was running PRKD, um, Cutie posted a strat a while into that grind that was something like this. Something like that. I don't recall exactly. And um, I never thought to use that for Hundo, but I just randomly decided to try it. And it's great. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, uh, this is a really good strat, and I've started maining it. Um, it is prone to mistakes for sure if you're not used to it, but it gets you three farms, and it's a little faster than going on the right side. So, uh, one of the things that I've done to try and, um, kind of safeguard it, I guess, is a good good term. Um, optimally, see, sometimes you'll miss that last farm if you're going too fast. Optimally, you do want to, you want to be high here, right? So that you can land on this platform, shoot up, and, and get going as soon as possible. Um, but one thing that I've noticed is sometimes I'll, like, overshoot, and then that's, you know, that's problematic. Oh, crap, what am I doing? Um, so when you're starting here, um, if you decide to, to move to this strat and you're having a hard time with it, uh, something that you can do to kind of make it a little bit easier is do a lower jump through this door. Um, basically, you just hold... We didn't have enough speed there. You just hold angle up and shoot as you're coming out of the door. And that will automatically fire on the first guy. And then from this position, you're going to bonk the platform. So you can use that to make sure that you don't go too far. Again, this is going to be a little bit slower than if you had just jumped out of the room, out of the door in a higher position. But it's still a really good, really good strat, for sure. So, so yeah, I'll break this down um, really quickly. So, angle up and shoot out of the door. That will automatically fire on this first Nova and allow you to collect the farm. You land on the left side of this platform right here. You shoot up. Um, I try to do a crouch jump here because it makes this ledge grab, uh, makes this down grab easier. You can clear it without a crouch jump, but like I said, a crouch jump just makes it more comfy. Um, the upshot is going to automatically kill this Nova right here. And you can also do your upshot after jumping if that's easier for you. It's totally fine. You're welcome, B. 
rip my chances at world record. I helped Behe save 10 frames. So yeah, the upshot will automatically kill that Nova. And then from there, you want to... Do an angle up shot as part of your ledge grab here. Which will kill this Nova. And then you do one more ledge grab angle up shot right there. Which will open the door for you. So yeah. Um, try and show that one more time without jumping low through the door. Like so. I think my record here is a three, like a low three one X. But a, a three two X is probably about what you can expect out of it. All right. Yeah, going too fast, you might miss the drops, and the drops are why you're doing it in the first place. So. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so you want to jump through this door so that you're airborne when you come in, and you want to hold down and shoot pretty much immediately. If you shoot too early, you will miss it, but... Like, don't worry about shooting too early if you have Spazer. Hold your shot and release it before you land. Can also be like right after you land, that's fine too, but if you release it a little early, you're most likely going to pick up the drop that this one leaves, which is almost... I think, I think they have 100% drop rate between small health and power bombs, but I could be wrong. You're almost guaranteed to get a small health here. Um, from there, you want to uh, keep firing, so I do three more shots. That'll kill the second Deskiga as well, mini Deskiga. So charge, one, two, three, switch to supers, one, two, three, switch to supers. Um, and then I'm the only person who I've seen at least try to do this strat this way. Um, but every time I check it, it seems worth it. So, basically, um, you want to do a ledge grab on this platform. And then quickly crouch for a crouch jump. And if you miss a crouch, it's not a big deal. You can do a spin jump up, or you can do a straight jump up. I'm so bad at the spin jump now. Like that. Or... Like that. So those are both 447 for me. Crouch jump got me a 442. Um... But yeah, you want to do a jump up from this platform with supers already selected, and then do a shoot with a down grab and run through the door. Four thirty-nine. All right. Again, as we have an emphasis on farming, we do want to farm in this next room as well. And you want to be tallying how much health is going into your reserves this entire time. So right now we have 59. <clears throat> so the farm that you can do in this room, you want to do a spin jump and then um, break spin under the stalactite. And then shoot an angle down shot. This is kind of hard. Oops. Um, 
you want to shoot your shot kind of later because that will make it be at a lower position. But it is just kind of awkward in general. Um, you want to mock off of this platform, this pillar. And uh, collect the drop from the Nova. I used to just not even go for it because it would mess up this mock for me. So that is an option, especially if you're doing the um, the business center farms coming back from high jump. But I would say if you can comfortably do this, definitely go for it because if it's a big health or a super, that's really helpful. After that, um, you want to jump and shoot once as you're coming over the pillar. That'll hit uh, this Garuda once. And then you want to do two more angle down shots. Um, I have also seen... I want to say I've seen Behemoth do a charge shot here. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe the charge shot's like this. Um, what I opt to do is three shots and then two missiles. With a down back. So basically you land here, and then you do a down back with two missiles. One, two. And that will kill the second Garuda. One, two, three. If you happen to miss the first shot as you're doing this, just just fire three. Oh no, we missed. One, two, three. Like that. Okay. You want your missiles to be late or that will happen. But not too late, obviously. Um, or like I said, you can, uh, of course, opt to do just a charge shot instead. Which, you know, probably is easier in a lot of ways. Not sure why I do the missile. Um, I probably was, like, not charging early enough when I decided to do the missiles instead or something like that. But... Either one is good. You're not going to be low on missiles hardly ever in 100%. Like, it's just not something to be overly concerned about. From here, you want to do two full jumps. Collect the missile, one full jump, two full jumps, land here. Do a ledge grab up onto this pillar, run off, aim down and shoot, because that Nova's going to be in your way. Aim down and shoot, select a supers, open the door. Alright, good luck with whatever you gotta go do. So yeah, I'll try and get a clean room out of this. That was pretty good. Alright, so you're running through this door. Um, you have a few options going through this room. The easiest one is to just roll th under everything. Like this. I forget what the optimal pathing for that is. And uh, the RNG on this hopper guy is actually really bad this time, but this is not a bad strat by any means. It's pretty fast. It's an 809. Um, the faster strat is to go topside, like this. It's a 723. Um, or if you want to rely on RNG for kind of a god strat, we might have actually gotten the good RNG for this. You can do a later mock here. But this jump is like very specific. Oh, that's pretty good. So 739. Um, you can Kago through this guy right here and get a Kago mock. But 
but... Seems like this maybe is just like barely not correct. Anyway, the Kego Mach is technically fastest, but it's really hard to do and it's RNG dependent. So, um, my recommendation is to go top side. The other benefit to going top side is if you're still low on health, for example, from your farms, you have two not quite free, but basically free farms here. Um, so remember, going like as fast as I can here, we're getting like a 7.2x, 720, okay. Do that a couple more times. That was kind of slow last jump. These jumps are kind of weird in that sometimes you'll swear you got the correct jump, but then Samus doesn't go far enough or whatever. It's just something that you sort of have to get a feel for. Um, what's the trick to that enemy jump? Because I've never made it over the column with it. This one? These guys hop. Um, how high they hop is based on RNG. The damage boost right here? Yeah, so I'll, I'll talk about that when I'm actually breaking the room down. Um, so yeah, going as fast as you can through this room, it's like a 7-2x, okay? Um, you have the opportunity, since you have just Spazer, to farm. So you can do a boost here, farm this first Nova, and then you can also farm the second one. This second one is actually almost literally free. Um, in terms of time spent. So if we run past this one, and let's say that we stopped for that second farm, I think it's like five frames or something. As you can see, I mean, it's kind of a specific shot that you have to do. 7.30, okay. So that time, that time it costs 10 frames. I usually don't get low 720s when I'm doing this room as fast as I can anyway. But it's certainly not a bad investment if you could use another super or another big health. I think it's totally worth it. Um... <clears throat> This first farm that you can do is a little bit more costly because you have to wait for the uh, for the drop to spawn. But again, like if you let's say you have zero supers coming into this room, um, that is going to make it so you can't do the fastest strat in Bubble Mountain. Um, so it's kind of kind of worth going for it because either you're if you get either a super or a big health, that's nice. Because even though a big health isn't going to put much in our reserves right now, it will make it so that we're more likely to get health in our reserves with the um, the next farms that we're doing. So, Okay, so to break this room down, um, you want to do a bounce ball off this first platform. Land on the left edge of this next one right here. Run across, jump and do a de-boost off this Nova. The trick to this de-boost is that you can't be holding forward when you boost, okay? Because when you're holding forward and you take damage, it actually makes Samus boost downward first. And you don't want her to boost downward or that sort of a thing will happen. Also, um, FSG mentioned that you want to be neutral in the D-pad, that's correct. You want to wait just a little bit before you initiate your boost, but not too long, or you're not going to boost far enough. So it, it's kind of a 
kind of a tricky thing. Um, you also want to make sure that you're not jumping too high here, or else you're going to end up boosting from the Nova on a lower position. And you want to boost from as high of a position as possible, but this is sort of working actually, so maybe I'm just full of crap. Um, <clears throat> Ball bounce at the start does always work. Sometimes you'll bonk this guy, but it's still going to work. You just have to compensate for the fact that you're bonking and unmorph appropriately on on the left side of the prop, uh, of the platform. If you happen to fall, like if you if you bonk and then you fall, oh no, we fell. Just just roll, just roll under. It's not worth it to try and fix it at that point. Um, <clears throat> so, boost. You can farm this guy or you can not farm him, it's up to you. You can just run through him since you'll have iframes from the damage boost if you decide not to farm. Do a jump off the right side of this platform. You'll land here, and then after landing there, you want to do one more jump either um, over that pillar to land on the left side of the, the last platform that we're going to run on there. So either jump over the pillar and land on the left, shoot, and then run forward and go. That last shot will open this door because that seahorse wouldn't have been in the way. Or you can go for this farm here, where you instead don't jump over this platform. You land on it and run off, and then collect the drop. Unfortunately, um, you can't just fire a shot from here. That would have been sick, but... And I'm pretty sure you can't... From here. Yeah. Yep, so... Anyway, that's kind, of, uh, that's kind of the gist of the room. Run through, next room. Well, there's a lot of times people can't imagine faster strats and then somebody comes up with something. QD is really good at that. QD is really good at being like, nobody's come up with a new strat in this room and I just found something that saves five frames. So. Alright. See, so we got a big health there. Isn't that nice? Alright, this room. Um, the way that I do it, I do an upshot as I'm coming around this corner, then I jump up and do a ledge grab up here. Um, sometimes you're going to miss the waiver, so I just always shoot, which opens the door. It will also give you a little bit of leeway um, to run sort of into the door frame to get some extra run speed if you happen to open the door. Just be careful you don't run all the way in, because that's bad. I've done that a couple times in runs. It's always a bummer. I select missiles here, and then, of course, you know, the standard run across, wall jump, shoot the cack. Watch out for King Cack. Um, you can tell when he's going to do his spiny shot based on when he's puffing up. Um, what Behemoth does, he, he, uh, he primes a charge shot. I'm actually really bad at this. Something like that. Um, the thing is, so with Behemoth's layout, it's a lot easier for him to hold dash 
and shoot and angle up at the same time. I have dash and shoot on opposite sides of the face buttons. Um, and I believe B he has shoot on X and dash on B, but X and B are actually closer together than Y and A, which I was corrected on a few weeks ago. Um, so Behemoth, and you know, this probably will work for some of you as well. He does a charge shot and then he releases it from down below. Um, as he's falling. So it's like this. Yeah. And it kind of automatically kills King Cat. And if you can do that comfortably with your your layout, it's it's just as fast, I think, as this. And way more comfy, because you're never going to get screwed by King Cac that way. But um, I personally can't do that. So I select missiles. Kill the waver, jump up. Shoot the door, select missiles. Jump across. Two wall jumps up. Use the missile on King Cac as we're jumping up. Switch to supers. You don't want to fire the super too early, or you're going to end up um, hitting the waiver sometimes if you went really fast. But yeah. Like that. So try not to try not to hit that waiver with your super. Freaking King Cac, dude. Do a damage boost across the gap, but not all the way into the door. Run through the door, and you can either shoot while angling up as you're entering the door. Or you can just be angling up as you enter the door and hold shoot. Either way, you want to shoot immediately upon entering. Now, I do a strat here that most people don't do. So I will talk about a couple of the different things you can do. Um, before I move on, because I know Bubble Mountain is problematic for a lot of people, are there any questions about Bubble Mountain coming in this direction that I can answer? All right. Um, so do this damage boost across angle up shoot through the door i hold angle down here you could also hold angle up no difference you just want to make sure that you stop right as you enter the door okay you have a couple options here um you can do a couple shots like that you can select a missile like that, which you would do by um, holding select, choosing your missile, or holding item cancel, choosing your missile, and then just shooting twice. The benefit to that is that after shooting a missile, there's no cooldown before you can shoot a beam. So that's kind of nice. Um, I like to go for the uppercut here, which is hard, but awesome. So that's why I stop right inside of the door instead of letting Samus run forward and doing these shots. Like that. Because um, otherwise, yeah, you're, you're basically like, you're going to need to do a couple jumps here. I don't actually remember something like that anyway for the uppercut um, I stop inside of the door it will automatically kill that first waiver then you want to run forward and do a gap skip you have iframes so these particles aren't going to hit you which is fine assuming assuming you have iframes from um, from the damage boost. That's important, actually. If 
you don't have iframes, it's still possible, but um, it's a little bit, a little bit different, I think. Anyway, um, run forward, do a gap skip. Uh, you don't want to actually hold down the entire time. You want to kind of cut off your gap skip early, so that Samus lands earlier. That way she'll have more run speed. You want to jump off the right side of these bubbles, right here, and then immediately aim up and shoot. Since you have Spazer, it's a pretty, pretty wide... I mean, see, we, uh, we were able to hit the block from that far left. See that? So, as long as you shoot after you jump, you should be able to break the block just fine. And from there, it's just a matter of making sure that you're getting enough run speed before you jump. Which, again, is... It's a lot easier to do that if you just make sure that you're not... Um, you're not aiming down the entire time. 20 frames is a lot of frames. It's almost half a second, but let's find out. 234. Let's just say... Two fifty nine. Is the jump during the door transition really worth it? This door? Depends on what you're doing, but the short answer is yes. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. So you can you can fix the door by doing a high wall jump here. Like this. That'll kind of fix the door. Or you can fix the door by jumping through it. Um In my experience testing it out, First of all, you can't fix the door doing a higher wall jump with uppercut as much. So you just kind of have to do this sort of thing. <clears throat> so that was a 253 with a 56. Two thirty-three with a seventy-one. So this was five frames faster, I think. That was just habit, but I didn't do it again. I didn't do it when I did the actual test. Does that make sense? So a jump optimally is a little bit faster. A jump through the door. Um, <clears throat> ultimately, they're going to even out to be about the same because you do um, you do have to wait to land in the next room before you can start running, which isn't a thing if you're not jumping through the door. Um, but, that being said, if you're farming here, <clears throat> that's a 76. Compared to a 42. And... A 
408 compared to... A 348. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> you want to see what happens if you don't hold the jump? That's a non-door fix. 113 frame door transition. Yeah, the, the ledge grab and then the jump through the door is what you want to do. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's what I'm... Oh my gosh. Alright, we're done talking about this. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, if you've been counting your, uh, your reserves... Um, <clears throat> and you know that you have enough health in there to be comfortable, you can skip this first speed farm. Um, but if you feel like you need more, more reserves or more supers, the idea is that you want to do a farm before, one farm before and one farm after. In other words, you want to do one single farm here. The reason that that ends up being faster than doing two before or two after is that these bugs are already spawned. Like, they're, they're already sitting there waiting to be killed. Okay. But after you collect the drops, they're not there again. You have to wait for them to respawn. So, one farm means that we can kill them and collect their drops immediately and then just go. For the sake of this, because we're farming in Business Center, yeah, unless you jump higher. It just kind of depends on how, how clean your grabs are, really. But the general idea is just that... <clears throat> you want to jump up. Uppercut is a great strat. It's really swaggy and really fun. And uh, it's fast, so. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, next up. I'm going to talk about the hardest room in this game. Um, if you did jump through the door, you want to hold angle, either angle up or angle down and down. This will push Samus down so that she lands earlier. If you don't do that, you might bonk these bubbles, even if you're aiming down like this. Okay. So holding an angle and down will make it so that you're pushed below the bubbles and also that you land earlier and can start running sooner. And then, um... If you're behemoth in any percent, 
You actually want to do mock ball. Like this. <laughs> but if you're behemoth in 100% since we actually... <laughs> well, hang on a minute. <laughs> we actually um, are going to be stopping to collect these missiles. The mock ball doesn't make sense because what ultimately happens is that you have to unmorph and then shoot the door open with your missiles. And then do the uh, do the missile pack. So that's why if you if you watch Behemoth do any percent, he does a mock ball, and if you watch him do 100%, he just does pumps. Um, I know, dude. I'm I'm just I'm just poking fun at you, okay? <laughs> you want to arm pump all the way down. Start uh, firing missiles in the middle of this third set of spikes. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Hold shoot coming out of this door, and then jump and wall jump check speed. Hold shoot after wall jump checking speed, which will make Samus land earlier and automatically open the door, and then jump across and go through the door. Jumping across is faster than running across, slightly. It was one frame. So not a huge difference, but and then arm pump all the way back. You want to shoot once you get to the top. That was a 307. That was faster than the other one. <clears throat> you want to shoot once you get to the top of this mound. I think it's the third one. One, two, three. And then jump through the door. Unless you're planning on skipping this farm, then it might be worth not jumping through the fo th through the door, but I actually never skip this farm. <clears throat> so, what you want to do here is hold angle down, unless you're behemoth and you don't have angle down, in which case you can hold down and left on the D-pad. Yeah, that'll work. So hold angle down and then release it. Samus will stop in midair as long as you're not also holding jump. So make sure you're not holding jump. Just hold angle down coming out of this room. Release and then shoot. Since you have spacer, that makes this shot like super free. You can shoot the bugs. Run and collect their drops. As you're collecting their drops, turn around and shoot. That will break the floor out because again, we have spacer which makes these shots super free. So shoot the floor out. And then jump into the hole. Shoot downwards once as you're dropping through the hole. That will break out this block that was here. See how there's a block here? So when we shoot down right here, breaks that block. And then you can damage boost off the scree to get to the door. Alternatively, if you mess up, um, you can like do this sort of a thing, boost off their particles. It's just a little bit slower. Um, there's a buffer for farm skip where you jump through the door and hold down and right on the exit. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> 
Saves 30 frames. If I could make this uh, work also to boost off the screen, I might actually consider it. Ooh, Ooh look at that! Booyah. <laughs> That'll save a whole second. But yeah, generally this farm is worth it for sure. Like right now we only have two supers. We definitely want more than two supers. You know what I mean? So. All right, damage boost off the scree, run through the door. Oh, of course I left with not enough supers. But yeah, three, three is like the absolute minimum, pretty much. Um, if you are leaving with less than three, then you're going to want to back up and um, use missiles on one of the following doors. Um, so yeah, when you're coming out of this door, this room's pretty basic. Do not farm this cack like I did. I was just getting an extra super. Um, do a short hop around here, shoot the door open. I select missiles here. That's not really important necessarily, but that's where I do it. And then um, I run through the door, and as I'm running through the door, uh, during the transition, I start holding jump so that I can buffer for this damage boost that I do. I do two pumps here, because it seems to make it a bit easier um, to get in position with the, uh, what are these called? Multi-violas, or whatever? Whatever they're called. Um, it might not actually make a difference, I don't know. But this is, as far as I can tell, the fastest strat, where you do a damage boost all the way back to the left, and then super the door on the right. Like so. Um, you can also missile these guys and do that. Um, you do not want to just ignore them, though, because then you're going to get some lag and damage, which, again, we're trying to avoid damage right now. But yeah, um, the D-boost is, I believe, the fastest method here. It is kind of a particular D-boost. Um, this is bad. So the way, the reason that that will happen is because you're releasing forward before you actually take damage from the multi-viola and then you're boosting. So just make sure that you're still holding forward when you hit the multi-viola and then do your boost. That will move you over to the left and not on top of the uh, the thing. And if, you know, if you mess it up, that's okay. Not a big deal. If you, like, land early here, it's okay. Not a big deal. Just don't let it get in your head too much. Yeah, the gap skip makes the door worse. And the extra speed that it gives you isn't enough to warrant it in the next room. So that's an 80 frame door. That's a 71 frame door. Like ultimately they're more or less the same, but if you if you happen to fix this door optimally with your jump, that ends up being a little bit better. That's a conclusion that Behemoth and I have come to multiple times at least. All right. <clears throat> G 
jump across this first platform, you don't actually need to land on it. It just wastes time. Um, and in your jump, oh, you don't want to have super selected here, by the way. So after you super this door... Gosh, freaking dang it. After you super this door, um, deselect supers and then run through. Jump and shoot. And that spacer shot will hit the gate and open it automatically. Unless it's like super low. I have had it miss like once in a run. But yeah, did you see how low that was and it still worked? Like. Just do some some jumps across the platforms. And then do a jump across the gap into a wall jump. If you fall off, that's okay. Just uh, jump up. Don't whiff your super like that. Oh no, I fell. Jump. Do a down grab. Go through the door. <clears throat> oh hey, we missed it. See, it is possible, but it's not likely. And then, uh, yeah, out of the wall jump, you still want to be doing kind of a down grab there as well. Okay. Hold shoot through this door. Wall jump, check this item. You're used to that by now. Um, I went over this a couple weeks ago, actually, but don't stress about being on the far edge of this. Um, basically... Due to the way that vertical speed works in this game, you're going to be able to make it across the gap just fine whether you're on the edge or kind of further in a little bit. Um, just make sure that you're doing a late jump off the platform and you'll be just fine. Okay. If you You'll get kind of an eye for it. So if you can tell that you're uh, moving far enough left that you can do a quick drop, definitely do that. Quick drop through these spikes on the left. If not, that's okay too. Morph and roll under. Oh no. Unmorph just as you come out of the, the, uh, the little tunnel here. And then you want to jump kind of on the middle-ish, middle to left side of that first mound. While holding dash. Jump. That will get you high enough that you can do a wall jump up there. To the top. Jump. Wall jump. Open the door. And run through. Sorry, I was catching up on chat. Okay. So running through this door, you do want to do a gap skip here. And then you want to jump kind of late, but not too late, and shoot upwards as you are passing um, basically up here. So you don't wanna you don't wanna shoot too early for a couple of reasons. One, um, if you shoot too early, you're gonna be farther right. And the point of the upshot is to open this door. Two, the way that the wave beam expands and contracts, um, I've noticed that if you do a later shot, like like higher higher up in the room, I think it's more likely to hit the edge of the door. So that's the general idea behind this room. Something like that. Um, this is kind of a hard strat, and I didn't do it for a long time. Before I was doing this strat, I was selecting missiles, shooting two missiles there. And, um, this actually seems better than it is. So notice that was a 304. That's a 306. 
but it has a 70 frame door transition. And that's kind of the issue that you're gonna run into if you try and do that strat. Whereas this one is a 250 with a 42. So this strat actually saves a lot more time than you would think. If you do the missile strat without messing up the door, then it's slower because there's kind of an issue. Well, okay, it's going to be slower sometimes, I guess. It just kind of depends on how you do it. But it's, it's hard to do the missile strat optimally. And because of the added difficulty, it's actually better to just do the upshot because that's faster anyway. One thing about the upshot is if you jump too early, right here, you're going to end up doing that, which is really terrible. Because naturally, you're trying to jump up and then turn around to get on this ledge, right? So what's happening is you're holding jump and then you're pushing left to try and turn around and get onto the ledge, but you're hitting the seahorse, which results in a damage boost. So the best way to avoid that is just to try and make sure that you're landing here early and jumping here a little bit late. Hopefully that makes sense. Hey, thank you for the sub. Tier 1, 3 months. Alright. We are coming up on the end-ish of this. Thanks for bearing with me and my... I'm guessing my explanations aren't as good today. I didn't sleep very well last night, which is also why I'm in a bad mood and I'm not taking crap. Um. <clears throat> Alright. So, run through the door. After this door, uh, there's a couple things you can do in this room. The easiest one is to um, drop straight down from here. You can shoot. You don't need to charge. You can just shoot down and then shoot angle down. Okay, that'll kill the Nova there. Lay a bomb when you get to the bottom here. Go through the tunnel like that. Run through the door. Um, if you don't have angle down mapped, I've seen Behemoth do this thing where he like scrolls the screen somehow. I'm sorry, I actually don't know what he does exactly, but he like scrolls the screen and then he lays a bomb and is able to like shoot and get the Nova somehow. I don't know, it's weird. Don't unmap angle down, it's bad. The only person who can be super good at this game without angle down mapped is Behemoth. <laughs> Morph shot from the left in the shaft. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The point is, it's way harder than just having angle down and spamming shots and killing the Nova that way, okay? Heck. <laughs> um, if you want to try and save time here, you can do a uh, bomb spread. Um, so I'll talk about this. Um, I'll try and make this short and sweet. Um, basically, so normally Samus can morph whenever, right? But if you're if you're holding shoot, when you release down, she automatically starts aiming forward again. In a turnaround animation, there's one frame at the end of the turnaround animation where if you repress down on that frame, she'll actually end up morphing. Like... Come on, you can do it, Zenny. You can do it! 
Like so. Okay. So it is frame perfect. Um, also, if you continue holding down, so this is this is something else that I can just show randomly. Um, <clears throat> if you're charging and then you morph, she does a bomb spread like that, right? But if you're charging and you morph and you hold down, she actually maintains the the bombs until you release down. Okay, so we can unmorph and still have a charge if we unmorph with jump. But if we release down, then that's when the bombs will come out. All right. And if you never release down, then eventually the bombs just explode out of Samus like that. So why, why is that important? Well, because that aspect of this strat determines when the bombs actually come out. So you want to make sure that you're not holding down the entire time. Or that sort of a thing is going to happen. So basically, this is harder than it looks, and it's it's already pretty hard, but um, the, the most comfortable way that I've found to be able to do this is turning to the left and then pushing down from facing right. And if I have to turn right and then turn back left, that makes it way harder too. So what I do is I do a spin jump over the cac, and then I turn right to align with the corner right here. I aim down, I turn left, I do the morph, and then I pretty much immediately release down, which makes the bombs come out. After you release down, you do need to unmorph so that you can shoot out this block, these blocks right here, which will allow that bomb to get down and blow up this one. And then you can roll through. Make sense? And um, also, I believe... Yeah, I also did the angle down shot there. And if you do that optimally, you can save... I've gotten to a 10, 24, I think, my, my best room time there. <clears throat> if you bounce and stuff, that's obviously suboptimal. That was a 10, 46, and not going for it at all. Eleven oh four. You can get a sub eleven, not going for it for sure. Um, depends on kind of like how tight your jumps and stuff here are. But bomb spread strat is also super swag. So if you can manage to learn how to do it, definitely worth going for. In my opinion, um, failing it, like if you manage, if you if you miss the morph. Failing it doesn't actually have a penalty, if I can manage to fail it. Okay. So that's kind of what it looks like when you fail. So you're not morphing, right? <clears throat> oh no, we messed up. Um, basically, you just want to, like... <sighs> oh, Zenny. That's what you want to do. Okay, you just want to shoot down and then shoot angle down to the left while you angle down to the right. And then you go. <sighs> Explain how to morph in air again while charged. You have to be doing a turnaround and you press down frame perfectly at the end of the turnaround. So, it's not... Not free by any means. It takes a lot of practice. But it's really cool. 
and it's really fast. <clears throat> okay, jump across this gap, run through the door. There's no alternative strat here. There's nothing else that you could possibly do. This is the only 100% route. I'm lying. Um, you can come down here and go to the left and go fight Croc and get grapple beam and some missile packs and stuff. Uh, that's not the route that we're going over. I will go over um, a couple spots later in the run if like if you have grapple things that you can do but um, for the most part I'm just covering late croc and yeah so assuming you're doing late croc jump across the gap run through these guys shoot as you're passing under this mound right here <clears throat> Shoot. That will open the door. And then you want to do a late jump through the door. You can aim down if you notice you're a little bit too high and you're going to bonk the, uh, the save station. <clears throat> open this door. And then uh, there's a couple different things that I do in this next room, depending. So... <clears throat> so jump through the door and hold angle up and jump and shoot. That will automatically kill this Nova and you can collect its drop. From there you can either go up like this, which will fix this door. Or... You can do a wall jump from here, go up like this, which will get you another drop, but it won't fix the door. Um, <clears throat> the extra run speed before the door actually kind of offsets uh, offsets the time lost from the bad door. So this this ends up only being like. I want to say like 15 frames slower or something like that. So if you really need an extra super or extra health, it's probably worth going for the three farms. Varg, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. But yeah, if, uh, if you know that you're good on resources, my recommendation would be to come up the right and fix the door like that. Um, I think Behemoth does two farm strat like this. <clears throat> Which again should be relatively the same. But there's of course always a possibility that I'm just doing it wrong. Um, thank you, Follows. All right, a couple more rooms. Um, and I swear I'm like forgetting something. I'm just tired. Just tired. Alright, pump through here. Shoot once you're passing this block right here. That will automatically open the door for you. And then you want to jump just after the gate and morph. So you're doing a jump ball. You don't want to run the whole way, or that will happen. So again, shoot when you're passing the block, jump ball. I select missiles here. Um, that guarantees that it will open the door. If you, if you jump ball too early, you're going to probably land in the lava, like this. So just be careful not to jump, like, super early. 
if you don't select missiles, it will sometimes open the door and sometimes get blocked. See that? But a missile should always open the door. So that's why I use a missile here. <clears throat> Jump through this door. And then you have a couple different options in this room. So what I opt to do, you want to morph after coming through the door and immediately hold right. That will bounce you up into this gap and onto this block. From there, I turn around, I unmorph with a jump press, I press jump again while still holding forward, and Samus, if you time it correctly, Samus will do a spin jump up to the left. From there, you want a wall jump. You don't have to, you can just uh, you can just jump up like this. But wall jump is a little faster. You want to shoot as you're coming up. That will kill the top Nova. And then, you roll out of the tunnel, unmorph, shoot, which opens the door, run off, hold jump after running off, or hold jump, um, use jump to unmorph right here, and just keep holding it. Run off, turn around, and you can damage boost off that top Nova. Okay. Um... <clears throat> You can also shoot earlier, like super early. And depending on your positioning, you can actually kill both Novas that way. Both of the higher Novas. It's kind of specific and hard, but you can do that. Um, or you can do what Behemoth does, where he unmorphs here, does an angle up shot, and then does a buffer jump. Which will kill two of the Novas and then allow you to uh, collect an extra drop and damage boost in. It's a little slower because you're damage boosting later. But it's still good and it will get you an extra drop if you need it. Um, this strat is, like, I'm making it look a lot easier than it is. For sure. <clears throat> but, um, you know, it all comes down to practice, ultimately. Right? So. That's kind of the breakdown on that room. Collect ice, turn around, shoot, and then run. If you turn around and run and shoot, you're probably going to bonk this door. Bonk. So turn around, shoot, and then run. You can also do a turn collect on this. But again, um, you're going to have to wait anyway. And I've noticed, at least for me... When I do a turn collect, it makes this next room harder. So I opt to just run into it, turn, shoot, and then run out. There's a couple things you can do here. You can hold angle down and shoot. Jump across like that. You can just do a jump and hope that you jump at the right time and clear... Uh, clear the gap and land, and then if you know that you're not going to, you can do a wall jump. Like that. Um, optimally, if you do your jump late enough, you can aim down. I'm having trouble with it. You can aim down and do a mock ball through the tunnel. That's definitely fastest here. If you're feeling the need to farm, I honestly don't know what to tell you in terms of optimal farms. Because I've never actually, like, researched what would be best. But yeah, you can, you can farm here. It's just hard to say. Hard to say what you'd want to do. <clears throat> but yeah, 
I always go for the uh, for the mock out. Like even if I'm low on stuff, I generally don't farm these guys. So mock out. Um, you want to bounce and then move left. So that you don't want to bounce too high. Basically, you, you want to time your left press so that you end up in that little gap there. <clears throat> Angle down shot and run through the door. All right, and then this room is kind of tricky for people, so I'll I'll try to make sure that I do a good job explaining it, but I'm sorry if I don't. You want to jump across this gap after this first guy. Um, the idea is that we want to freeze these two platforms in a spot where we can get the most run speed out of them. We also want to open the door so that we can do a mock through the door. Don't stress too much if you miss one of these guys, like this because one platform is definitely enough to get this mock ball. Especially with speed booster. So let's say that you miss the first one. Like that's okay, honestly. You can still do it. Um, the main thing is just that you wanna make sure that you get a good amount of run speed and then this has to be a short hop mock ball, so if you haven't learned how to do them yet, this is kind of this the point where you need to learn how to do a short hop mock ball, because unlike early supers, you can't just jump and bonk on the ceiling for this. That makes sense? If you do happen to miss the gate, you can jump and do a morph lay a bomb there, lay another bomb there, and then shoot a missile. <clears throat> missile will kill the Nova, and then you just roll through here. This is much, much slower. So definitely learn this strat and only use that as a backup. Um, as long as you get the mock, you will end up rolling under the gate. You want to unmorph after the gate, and then arm pump and shoot before the block. So remember, we were shooting on the block going left, we're shooting before the block going right. and then uh, jump through the door. You want to do a wall jump check if possible. And assuming that you got the wall jump check, just hold right coming out of the door. That will make Samus um, kind of do this like boomerang thing back to the left. And she'll fly up. <clears throat> and you can go up the elevator. If you happen to bonk the ceiling, which does happen, um, don't panic. Because that's actually pretty much just as fast. You still want to hold right, and then you just want to time a wall jump. Let's grab and go up the elevator. Yeah, ultimately, um, that's, that's kind of what these videos are for. Like... They're going to be more helpful for some people than for others, and I understand that. Um, my goal is just to kind of break down my strats and a couple of alternative strats and give people options to, to do these runs, right? And of course, people are going to find their own stuff too, and that's great. Um, but like, I know for me, I usually like, I'll take some of those top top runs and I'll like break them down myself I'll dissect them and I'll I'll like try and copy them like that's just how I how I learn um but I think I think that's hard for a lot of people and so um that's kind of like I said that's my goal with this is to kind of break it down and um make it make it more easily digestible these are long video 
excuse me, these are long videos, but I don't, um, I don't necessarily expect people when they find them on YouTube to watch all 90 minutes at once. You know what I mean? Like they're going through, they learn three rooms at a time and then they come back to it another day and they learn another three rooms or, or whatever. Like, it's there's a lot of information, but I try to try to be thorough and make it presentable as much as I can. So I'm glad it's helping.